This is, I get hit up with this all of the time. Many of you ask me, should I buy a business to escape the startup phase, to instantly get a profitable business that's already making cash so you can start making cash? Let's have that conversation. Let's talk about that because I see these advertisements about buying businesses. As a business owner, none of the businesses that I've ever had, I would sell. Before we have this conversation, let me go ahead and talk to the broke dick Dannys of the world. Go below, get the free courses. Money management course, 30 days, 2,500. Hustler's mindset, pin your mind for success. And also the hustler lectures. Go get those four free things so you can start piling up. All right, so let's have this conversation. Do you think that you are going to be able to go ahead and buy this wildly profitable business with no cash down so you don't have to go through the start phase. Let's go ahead and look at some of the reasons that I would not sell my business. My business makes a lot, it makes a lot of cash. There, I would be, someone would have to come to me and say, Glendon, we're gonna give you 20 mil. That would be the only way, and we're gonna give you 20 mil in cash. That would be the only way I would sell my business. Because the business, argumentally, is only worth five million. So if someone wants to say 20 million, hey, you know what I would do? I start another business. <laughs> That's what, exactly what I would do. Uh, I see some of these uh, YouTube ads talking about buying a business as if it's easy. Let me give you the process of truly buying a business, getting a properly structured business deal. Essentially, what's wholesaling? Wholesaling is finding a house with issues that has a motivated seller. This is the same thing with buying a business. You gotta find a business with some issues. You gotta find the owner who may be sick, may be tired of the business, the business is struggling. That's what you gotta find to find one of these no out of pocket cash deals. Because I want you to think about it. All right, like if someone came to me, hey, Glenn, hey, I wanna buy your business. I don't wanna put no money down. I want to uh, structure my payments to you out of the cash flow. I would turn that deal down. I'm like, so you mean that I would no longer own this business and then I would have to split cash flow with you on something that I could just hold on to and get all the money myself. That that makes no sense. Because essentially many of you, uh, we're, we're not even talking about do you have the business skills to run that business? We're gonna get into that in a minute. Yeah, there, there are a lot of businesses for sale. There's a lot of businesses, the owners are sick and tired of running the business. They ain't making no money, they're suffering, they have issues, they have, there's something wrong. This is how you get these juicy deals. Let me give you an example of a business that I would buy. I would buy a furniture store. If I could find someone who had good inventory, good credit, and they were struggling to make sales, I would get in that business because I know how to market furniture. That would be a business I would buy. I would, would I get into trucking? I don't know anything about trucking. I know nothing about trucking. Uh, you know, there's a lot of courses, there's hood estates, there's uh, good energy. All these folks are talking about trucking. For me to step away from this business model that I have, where I get to create my own products, which creates an amazing profit margin, to go into a business where I'm only making 10, 20% margin, eh, that's not really appealing to me. For someone who wants to avoid the startup, like let me go ahead and explain to you how you can buy a business and it should be a business that you have some expertise into because this is what's gonna happen. If you buy a business, that you buy the business, then you structure this payment plan, then you gotta learn the business. See that learning part right there, that learning the business part? That's problematic for the following reasons. Because you gotta learn the business doesn't mean that you can go in and make radical changes to improve the business quickly because you've gotta learn the business. I know that many of you are egotistical and think that you can walk on water. I'm gonna just say this, and if I hurt your feelings, I don't really care. If you were so good, how come you're not rich right now? Let me say that again. If you're so good, you're so talented, you're so creative, you are a boss or a boss chick, how come you ain't rich right now? Cause you ain't that good. The evidence, the proof is in the pudding. The proof is in the results. If you are not rich right now, you're not that 
good. I know that hurts some feelings because a lot of people are egotistical and they, they got these fragile, fragile self-esteem issues. But essentially, the game of business is for seasoned operators. Once again, I have a lot of young bucks, young bucks all over the place. Young buck, you old man, I'm a young buck. Do you have a Porsche that's paid for? Do you have a BMW that's paid for? Do you live in the million dollar house that's paid for? No, I guess this old man knows more than you do because men talk, women talk, men lie, women lie. Numbers and facts don't lie. You, Mr. Young Buck, ain't as good as you feel you are because if you were as good as you feel you are, you would have some receipts. You would have some receipts and results. And since you have no receipts and results, you ain't that good. You ain't that good, brah. You ain't that good, sis. I was watching this video and it was crazy. This broke chick was trying to finesse an eight-figure dude and she was just like, you must think that you're a boss. You know how many chicks have tried to run game on me that they were more than they really are? Like, I'm gonna tell you something I did. I was dealing with this one chick and she got a little bit of an attitude. So what I did is I went out and I got rid of her. I got a better, younger chick and I sent her a picture of me <laughs> popping that. It was like, this was your replacement. I've upgraded. She was so mad. I was like, well, you you a boss chick. You got all this game and that, that shouldn't have happened. See, here, here's the thing. If you're dealing with a seasoned heavy hitter, an operator, none of that stuff's gonna work. Like, like I said, I got rid of my ex and she was gorgeous. One of the things that y'all got to understand is nothing replaces experience. Nothing replaces experience. You can't purchase experience. You can't rent experience. You must experience the actions to get the experience. And th this is one of this whole notion of buying a business when you don't have, you know, if you are an experienced operator where you have a track record of going in, buying businesses with issues and making them profitable and this is your business, that's a whole different thing. You a whole different guy. You a whole different operator. You're more than likely a multimillionaire if you got those type of skills. One of the things that I know like with retail, and this is why I really say don't start a retail business. Get you an online business. Don't start a retail business because so many of you like, I'm gonna open up me a shop. I'm gonna get me a spot so I can be the man. I can be the woman. Six months later, you out of business because you didn't know how to run a business. This whole notion of just buying businesses when you are not a skilled operator is felonious. And it's a good way for you to lose money and a good way to get yourself in a lot of debt because when you sign contracts, and you know what the contract is? A contract is a legal promise. Some people get a little upset when you break your legal promise and will haul you off in the court and then they will come after you hard, heavy, and fast. So don't be out here thinking that you can just go ahead and buy a business and skip the startup phase because remember what I just said about nothing replaces experience? Starting up a business gives you experience. Take what happens to head coaches. Head coaches in the NFL, they, they go, what, a week or two without a job? They become someone's defensive coordinator or offensive coordinator just like that. Boom, like, you got fired, we're going to hire you. It, look, look what happens every year when these head coaches get fired, look at where they end up. I mean, they go from a eight figure a uh, year of job to a seven figure year of a job. So you, you ain't making eight figures, now you're gonna go to seven figures. And the seven figures ain't one or two million, they're like five, six, seven, eight million dollar a year jobs. You know why they hire these guys who got fired as head coaches? Look at Andy Reid. Andy Reid was the uh, head coach of the Philadelphia Eagles, he got fired. Boom! He went straight to Kansas City and got a Super Bowl within two years. Nothing replaces experience. If you think that you with no experience are gonna buy this building, this business, and go ahead and get this owner to do creative financing, where you don't come out with no money out of the pocket, I wish you good luck. God bless you, I wish you luck. Because more than likely it ain't gonna work out because here's the issue, once again, the, the businesses that owners want to sell have problems. They have issues. Anyone that has a business that is making good profits ain't going to sell it cheap if they sell it. And once again, if they're making good cash flow, which is in my case, why would I sell you my business 
and then dilute the cash flow instead of me getting all of the cash flow. Now I only get a small percentage of the cash flow when I could have just kept it and got all the cash flow myself. And this is why I'm giving you guys the free courses. You got to be in business to be in business. Now, what do I mean when I say that? For you to learn how business works, you need to be in business. You can watch all the YouTube videos. You can listen to all the podcasts. You can read all of the books. But until, you know what? I'm about to go here. I'm about to go here. Imagining you having sex the same as you having sex. You can imagine all day long. It ain't, it ain't even close to you being in it. it. Ain't even close. It don't feel the same. It's not the same experience. You be up in your imagination, you get a nut, but it ain't the same as being in it. So imagining having sex versus actually having sex, it's a big, big difference. And that's the thing with the business. And one of the things about knowing how to run a business and one of the things about being a skilled operator and being able to run and operate businesses. Because one of the things is, if you don't know how to do sales, you don't know how to do marketing, you don't know how to put together an email list, you don't know how to put together a marketing campaign, you're going to be in trouble. You're going to have a business that you cannot grow. Because one of the things that so many people that really crack me up is the egotistical nature of human being. You don't have no results, none whatsoever, but you feel that you can pull this amazing feat off based on nothing but who spot. And once again, to the young bucks, y'all need to bow down because I got more money than you do. I got more experience than you do. And I have an active business that produces cash flow. If you don't have none of that, you can't really talk. You can like, you can bark up, you can nip at my heels like a little, like a little chihuahua, like but you don't have no results and you living up in your mom's basement and talking big and bad on the internet. That, that is hilarious. Each one of you guys, I challenge, none of you ever come back with any receipts. Not one of you. Now I'm not talking to the folks who enjoy this content and understand that I'm being helpful and I'm being, I'm trying to guide you. I'm not talking to you. I'm talking to these young bucks who think that they're special because they just got off their mama's titty and now they're like, yeah, I'm ready to take on the world. Really? And th 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 this is funny. And this is why I'm having the young buck conversation. Someone was talking about, did I feel that cell phones would take off? And I used to do a lot of technology videos on this channel. I just stopped because y'all don't watch the technology. I remember this Asian dude who created the technology that allows us to use cell phones and iPads with the touch end of the glass. I remember because they was like, this guy's going to become a billionaire. This is a game changer. And he did just because I'm 54 years old don't mean that you know more than me. I have more experience in sales and marketing and running businesses and you do, because I've been doing it longer. I mean, it, it's really simple. It's really, really simple. I've been doing it. This is why, you know, many of y'all like, what book should I read? I don't know. I'm too busy running the business. I'm too busy doing. This is what I call hustler porn's consumption, that many people will like listening to a podcast and listening to these people. There's a number of personalities on the internet who talk about business and their business is talking about business. They've never had a pure business to public type deal other than this YouTube, Facebook, Pinterest, or Instagram type deal. They've never had a real business outside of being an internet personality. They wouldn't know what to do with a real customer. They, they'd be like, oh, whoa, that's a customer. Oh, that's scary. They wouldn't know. I mean, I actually, for over a decade, ran a business selling resale items to the public for a decade. I did so many things that I don't even talk about because that's just what I did. One of the things is that so many of you feel that you can go in and just buy this profitable business. And I'm just like, really? So you have no experience in this business, you have no cash, and you've somehow hoodwinked this owner into creative financing. And now you got this business that you don't know how to run. If you wanna be a business owner, start a business, get in business. Or if you want to buy a business in an industry that you already know very well, that's a whole different ball game. If you know the industry, you're in the industry, 
you know the players, you know how the industry works, and then you buy a business in an industry that you have a lot of experience, your chances of being successful are really, really good. But this whole notion of just going to buy a business and trying to get someone to commit to give you creative financing, like, first of all, if you came to me trying to buy my business using my cash flow that I built to pay me, that's a red flag. It's like, these folks ain't serious, they have no cash. Start your business, go ahead, go through that learning phase, do what you need to do so you can become a real business owner. And so you can become a skilled and heavy operator. Cause like, I'm, I'm just attacking a lot of stuff. I just saw this thing, it's like this, I'm gonna teach you how to buy this business. As a business owner, I know there's so much to run in the business that if you bought a business and somehow pulled up the cash, but you didn't know how to run the business, more likely you'll lose your money. All right, for my real business owners, go below corporate toolbox. I'm gonna teach you how to set up a holding company. I'm gonna teach you how to set up your operating companies. I'm gonna teach you how to grow your business from scratch. And there's a lot of other new stuff that I've added to the corporate toolbox, like wealth talk. We're going to be getting into some wealth habits, getting into some wealth habits. And one of the things that I want you guys to understand is the corporate toolbox, the sooner that you start, because it's a two to three year journey, you're not going to snap your fingers and be where you want to be. But here's the thing the two, the three, the four, the five, the 10 years are going to come and go. Whether you're actively working on something to improve your future or not, that's on you. Links below. I will see you guys in the next video.